This was found in a storage unit belonging to your father. My dad died two years ago. What is it? We don't know. We thought you might like to keep it. Le Vaux du Mort. It's French. Translation being? The death of something. What's this? No idea. So what's it supposed to do? It was built as a tool for revenge. The voodoo death is real. <laughs> and now someone wants revenge on us. The killer striking at people that you know. Reaper strikes fear to kill them from within. Who else knows about the machine? Never trust anyone. friends. There we have it, the trailer to Needle, and today we are very lucky to be joined by John Soto. Thank you for joining us, the director of the film. Thank you, glad to be here. Now, I'm stirring in my pants after watching that. <laughs> I just think it's going to be an, an amazing uh, movie. Um, when it's obviously released here July 28th to the public, but it's been released um, overseas and As through well. a number of festivals. So yes. I guess just to start off with, um, can you tell us a bit about Needle? Um, what movie what, what it's about? What about? <laughs> uh, well, Needle's a uh, supernatural thriller. Um, so it's about a young guy that um, inherits this uh, machine mm -hmm. and um, he does what everyone else would do, which is show all his friends and family and he shows his teachers. And then he locks it away somewhere secure mm -hmm. Um, and then later he's told, well, actually that machine that you've inherited it has uh, quite a lot of value and it's meant to have, uh, it's rumoured to have supernatural powers. Um, <coughs> so then he goes back to his uh, secret place and to pull it out and it's gone. So one of his friends or someone, uh, one of his teachers maybe, has taken the uh, device and uh, one by one his friends start being knocked off uh, and, and whoever is uh, has taken the machine, knows how to operate it, and knows its supernatural powers, and that's the uh, that's the basic story in a nutshell. Okay, lovely, I guess. Yes, <laughs> it's. I think um, I think in that supernatural genre, there hasn't been a lot of movies that have really, um, I guess, challenged our thoughts about some of the practices that occurred in the 16th and the 17th century. You're saying in terms of the voodoo and. The creation of these that's devices. right <coughs> that's right so bef um, in the process of writing the story because we wanted to create like uh, a it's essentially a murder mystery mm -hmm. um, where uh, you have to try and work out who the killer is so you don't know right till the end mm -hmm. and there are six clues that are through the story um, and uh, what we did was uh, we needed to lay the foundations for a strong mythology so we had to do research uh, into um, what uh, you know, machines and creations were around in the 16th, 17th, 18th century mm -hmm. and there were illusionists and magicians that had these strange boxes or machines or you know whatever apparatus that could do apparently you know um, supernatural things and that's where we got the, the basis for the story. Wonderful and being the great film it is it has attracted a lot of talent both locally so we've yes. got Jessica Murray and I believe that you know they were attracted to the script Yes. Is that right? Yeah, that's the yeah. key selling point uh, was um, that uh, we uh, sent them the script. Uh, so it went to Michael Dorman and Ben Mendelsohn, mm -hmm. um, uh, Tahina Tozi um, and, and uh, Jessica Marai. Mm -hmm. And they straight away got that it's a, a kind of an old school uh, thriller, mm -hmm. uh, a supernatural thriller along the lines of urban legend. Um, or Final Destination, or I Know What You Did Last Summer. Those are like some of my favourite films. Um, and uh, the, those actors read the script and they straight away said, yeah, I get it, I want to be in this film. 
So for us, it was, it was a great uh, thumbs up. Wonderful. And now the film has been distributed in over 65 countries and I understand um, you've also been showing this film at a very well-known festival. It's been nominated as well though for Screen Fest, which is what we want to focus on in LA. Yes, yes. And you've got lots of awards and whatnot. Tell us more about that. Well, um, the number one um, horror film festival in the world is um, Screen Fest Los Angeles and uh, they generally attract, which is run in October each year around Halloween, and they generally attract uh, 1,500 to 2,000 entries mm -hmm. and uh, of films around the world. And our film was, we submitted our film, and we thought we might have a chance, but you know, you, you don't know. There's a lot of competition, there's some, some really great films. Mm -hmm. And essentially they whittle it down from you know, 1,500 down to 1,000 down to the top 500, and then, then they choose the final 20, and uh, they love Needle, and we, we got selected for Scream Fest. Which well, is very congratulations. exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. And I think you also um, won an award there. That was for Best Special Be Effects yep. Horror. Yeah, Best correct? Special Effects Horror Makeup, which is uh, very, uh, a very nice uh, tap on the back, a nice, a nice thumbs up for Meg, who did our special effects, uh, all the prosthetic effects and, and the machine effects, and also um, uh, you know, the, the crew in general. It's a great uh, thumbs up for their work. Excellent. And I'll also toot your horn for you as well in that it's the first film, first WA film that has made it into that top 20. Is yes, that it correct? is. Yeah. It's the first WA film to, to be nominated or selected for Scream Fest, uh, first to win an award. And it's the first uh, Australian film, West Australian film, to be picked up by Lionsgate uh, for North mm. American distribution, which is extremely exciting. Well, look, thank you so much for your time today in the interview. But quickly before we go, and I'm being a bit cheeky because you might not want to say much about this particular movie, but there's one coming as well, your next project. What's that going to be called? Well, I've got a project in development uh, called Vengeance, mm -hmm. uh, and it's a crime thriller. Um, mm -hmm. And we're, it's set along the coastlines of Western Australia, mm -hmm. and we're in the process of getting it financed. And uh, it's um, we hope to... Uh, going to pre-production in March next year. Wonderful. Well, uh, we'll definitely wait to hear more news on that one. Excellent. Very Thank you very exciting. much. Cheers.